I've got a comment under one of my videos the other day. Let me read it to you. Great video. Do you think mobile first is still important? Internet is so fast, the difference is not much in real life, no? So first of all, thank you so much for leaving the comment. I truly appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you found the video was helpful. I think this is a great question. So I decided I'll just answer in the video. Okay, so when you hear mobile first, especially in the context of front-end engineering, it's easy to assume that what it means is styling your components for mobile devices first and then creating overrides with, I mean, with media queries. This is true, but this is also just a tiny fraction of the meaning of this term. I understand mobile first more broadly. To me, mobile first means prioritizing the user experience on mobile devices over the user experience on desktop. But why would we even want to do that? The answer is simple. The global internet traffic from mobile devices surpassed the traffic from desktop in October 2016. And it's very unlikely that this trend is going to change. Like mobile devices, iPhones and whatnot are here to stay. So this means that we have to adapt. We have to take user experience on mobile devices very seriously. But what does that even mean? I think it's a moving target because phones themselves keep changing. Uh, technologies change. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are improving. Browsers are improving. New frameworks pop up old frameworks disappear. So with that caveat that everything is always changing, there are still some principles that we can follow today to make sure our projects are mobile first. And those principles are not always just related to CSS or JavaScript or engineering. So from a content perspective, for example, since we don't have the luxury of the real estate of desktop, we must prioritize which pieces of content are truly important to the product or the service. So we show them first and trim down everything that's not important or put it last on the page. From a design perspective, it means creating designs for mobile devices in the first place, not necessarily creating mobile designs before desktop designs chronologically. It just means making sure that mobile designs get the right amount of attention. Like, are they thumb friendly? Do they follow best practices for navigation design? Are clickable elements placed in areas where they are easy to reach? Are we making sure that we're not using too many pop-ups? So all that is mobile first to me. From an engineering perspective, most if not all practices that improve website performance like lazy loading, responsive images, reducing number of requests to the server, caching of different levels, improve mobile experience as well. Yes, internet speed has improved drastically over the years, but I promise you, drive a few hours north of Toronto and you'll get to spots where you don't have not just all the bars, whereas there's slow 3G or sometimes even edge. Most accessibility practices improve mobile experience as well, like using correct font sizes, making sure that the color contrast is on point and so on. And since the video that prompted this question was about CSS, I thought that I'll cover mobile first principles in terms of HTML and CSS as well. So one of the main rules that I try to follow when I'm building components is to make sure that the markup is the same for mobile and desktop and only styles are different when necessary. Sure, there are exceptions to this. Facebook, for example, they even have their subdomain dedicated to mobile version of the website. So like they have not just different markup, they have completely different website. Main thing here is like if you build different markup, you understand what you're doing. But I believe if you can maintain lean and consistent markup across devices, there is no reason to not go with that approach. Also, if you're a front end engineer and work with designers, it's great when you are part of the conversations with the client. And it's also great when you get a chance to review the designs before they are presented to the client, because you get a chance to uh, catch those components that will be hard to build with the same markup. And you can push back on those and provide feedback to the designer so those components can be tweaked for like a simpler, more straightforward approach. And when it comes to styling, I usually style the components as if the desktop doesn't exist first. And then once the mobile styles are ready, 
I add necessary layers of complexity and override the properties where, where necessary. But that doesn't mean that min with media queries are the only tool we can use to do that. In case of this heading, for example, the font size will update normally when we go from one viewport to another, but it's not ideal because it will jump in between viewports. This was fine when we had like three tablets on the market. I don't know how many years ago, but right now we have like thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of different devices that are out there and like plan rigidly for every viewport is just like unrealistic. That's why Clamp makes way more sense for cases like this. And I'll probably create a separate video about it because it's hard to wrap your head around it the first time. Another example is using implicit grid layouts for columns. We don't have to set the number of columns for each viewport and if the design allows for it. So here's an adjusted version of a grid I created for the video about them. Instead of using media query here, we can use auto fit and give min max a value of 201 fraction and this will create a perfectly fine grid. So see how as I resize the screen, it scales nicely and it goes from three to two to one. And max width media queries are not necessarily evil either. Sure, yeah, it's more preferable to stay consistent and use min width media queries throughout your project. But if you find yourself creating a component where you write styles for mobile and then keep overwriting the exact same styles for every single viewport, then it might be a better idea to use max with media query for that component. Those components are usually components like navigation that have the same markup, but look drastically different on different viewpoints. So I hope this helps clear things up about what mobile first approach to building website is. I do think it's a mindset and not a rigid set of rules. And certainly the list of tools and techniques I described in this video is not exhaustive. And I am super curious to know what you do for your projects to keep them mobile first. So if you do something I've not listed, please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.